What is up everybody? This is Lyle No Hippie Trucking and Transportation. Still coming at you from Centennial, Colorado. I thought I was done with videos until I got back out on the road and everything. But I got a message from my, my last co-driver and trainee. He said, Lyle, I just posted my first YouTube video. So you know I had to give, it, give this fool some love. You know what I'm saying? You spend 30,000 miles with somebody and you kind of grow a little bit of closeness with them. So... I wanted to take this chance to support him. I'm going to leave a link to his channel in the comments section uh, below. So all you got to do is just go to the comments section. I'm going to have that comment pinned. But, uh, you know, for a lot of you guys that are just going through the training process, I'm sure that he's going to be able to put a little bit of insight on what you're going to have to be going through from... Uh, the perspective of a trainee and right now he is going through the upgrade process or you know the wait for the upgrade process so watching him might uh, kind of let you know what you have to go through you know in waiting to get uh, in line to get upgraded so that's the first one I want to talk about the second one I always got to show love to uh, Myra Ferry Wire Trucker she's out there running that other truck of mine and she is doing an excellent job. I'm going to leave a link to her channel in the description. Or not in the description. I'm going to leave it in the comments section as well. Uh, you know, she's an inspiration to everybody out there that did not have a good trainer. You know what I'm saying? Everybody that didn't get off their trainer's truck knowing how to back up a truck or anything like that. So, uh... For those of you guys who watch my channel, she's somebody that when she first started posting videos, I was like, man, I'm not sure about this one. But she stuck to it and learned everything she needs to do. And now she is somebody that I trust 100% with my truck. So, Myra, what's up? Shout out to you as well. Uh, a video that I'm going to be doing coming up, because I spoke to a couple people about this today. Uh, you know, this whole myth, and I'm going to call it a myth, this whole driving your eight, eight and a half hours and you never run out of time. You know, like I said, there's a time and a place for that depending on what type of loads you're going to be consistently running. But I don't find that being a problem with myself. I've actually tried to run myself into a 34. I was so tired and wasn't able to do it. So I'm going to kind of give some insight on that. And maybe one of the reasons that I'm not in a position where I need to take a 34 is because I'm so on top of my logs to where I'm saving so much time to where that's not an issue so what I'm gonna do hopefully if I can remember it is my next video is where you are wasting time on your 70 hour clock because I'm talking to people and I'm like seeing massive amounts of time being wasted and stuff like that so I'm gonna get into that and I'm you know a lot of it is the fact that people are just wasting time on their 70 uh, to where they end up needing to take a 34 and then some of it isn't the fact that they needed to, needed to take a 34 you know what I'm saying I know people that are taking 34s because they're like I only have six hours left on my 70 listen my fleet manager be the first one to send you a load that when you got two hours on your clock with uh, 60 miles to get to the 01 and uh go from there you know what i'm saying and the more you run the bigger them recaps are gonna be you know what i'm saying we'll get into that in another video but i think a lot of people are let's put it self-imposing 34 hour resets on their self because you know the only time i've really i got forced into taking a 34 one time uh, and that was just me wasting hours being new all that kind of stuff but i have literally been out six seven week eight weeks and not taking a 34 hour reset and i know myra this driving my other truck is doing the same thing so this whole you know just driving eight and a half hours and i always have hour that that is a myth and i'd be happy to, to debate anybody that wants to debate that one and then we can maybe delve into maybe why you're ending up having to take that 34 hour reset but anyway enough about that go check out land shark transport that's my former trainers new youtube channel i happen i'm happy to say i was his first subscriber 
and uh, go check out Myra Ferry Wire Trucker. She's out there, female truck driver. Uh, she can hit you from a bunch of different angles, from being Puerto Rican, from being a woman, from being somebody that really wasn't trained up all that well, to somebody that's out there running the shit out of loads. You know what I'm saying? So uh, anyway, go check out them two channels, and uh, next time you see me, I will probably, I might do a video, I might do this video about wasting time while I'm at the Denver yard waiting to uh, get a load out on Friday. And for those of you guys that don't know yet, that may be parking shit at Prime in Denver, or... Uh, maybe used to dropping trailers out there for one reason or another that yard will be closing on october 1st so i've already looked around and i already know there's going to be at least four or five cars out there that are going to get towed that i haven't seen get moved one time since i started at prime so anyway just want to throw that out right quick uh, as always i do appreciate you guys stopping by no hippie trucking and transportation look at that look at that hairdo right there you know what i'm saying getting it clean fresh and ready to put in that work on these next uh five six seven eight weeks however long it's going to be uh to get things handled but uh hopefully the shorter the better but one thing i did tell uh my future co-driver and trainee was since i'm just coming out the house he's going to need about twelve thousand miles eleven thousand miles to get finished with this training he can stay on my truck until he gets called in for the upgrade. I'm not trying to hold anybody hostage or anything like that. Just w letting him know that he can stay on my truck uh, so he's not going home and not getting paid or anything like that. So that's about all I got to say on this. Uh, as always, like I said, comment, subscribe, and I'm out.